this week, science is so exciting. Cooking with poo. And Roctopus. This is the front page. everybody. Welcome to The Front Page, the show where we talk about a lot of silly stories from the website reddit.com. My name is Samantha Garcia. And I'm Liz Hoffman. And we're back here. The swooning couches remain. I know! How have we gone so many weeks in a row with the swooning couches? I don't know. Uh, I, I insist on a dance party. I agree. Dance party. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. we're going to do that for five more minutes and then Cliff is going to cut it out. Yeah. Tell <laughs> And Muppet Arms Dance Party, Muppet Arms Dance Party, T Rex Arms, T Rex Arms. <laughs> Good times. Oh, Cliff is going to totally cut that out. Oh, he's so mad. He's so yeah. mad already. We love you. Eh. Our uh, our studio audience has joined us for one more week. Thanks Yay! for coming back, you guys. I know it was a long, a long drive for you, and I appreciate you being here. Yay, Yay support. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open it up right away with, uh, I did not bring a cocktail at all this time. I don't even have a story to cover for why it's not here. Oh, God, you don't even have a story? I just, it just didn't work out this week. It didn't work out. So what we have instead is what we like to call the backup wine. Oh, backup wine Backup box of wine. Backup Uh, wine. Yeah, so cheers. Cheers. Yay. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Because it didn't even occur to me to do an episode without... Alcohol. At oh this God, point? no! Like, no, we're having a beverage. No, no, no. no. So we're, we're enjoying a delicious red wine blend. Ooh, That's Ooh the just mystery what it's wine. Red wine blend. That's what we're drinking, and it's some um, not the worst <laughs> wine I've ever had. No, this is that. I, I mean, for a box wine, this is actually pretty right. darn good. I love a box. I wine. love the the red wine blends because it's like they're not even pretending that it's something. It's just like mystery grapes all around. Yeah. It's not like, oh, I can't detect this Cabernet, blah, blah, blah. Nope. Oh. No, it's like we just, here are some grapes. Yep. We don't even know what they are. We're wine just going to throw them on in and call it wine. Yep. And it's actually pretty good. Yeah. Well done. I, I'm never going to complain about the lack of a botched up cocktail. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this I know I like. So Ooh. we's good. So I feel like I've set the bar pretty high. And so next week I have to crush it. Have by you which set I the mean bar high? snap it in half and then ground it into a pulp and, and then, then set it on fire. Cover it with tequila and then set it on fire. Oh, I can get behind the covering with tequila. Yes? Yes. All I right. love me some tequila. I'll you see know what this. I can do. I'll see what I can do. Mm. I will probably choose something need, disgusting. Need a, yeah, I'm sure you will. You know what's going to happen? I'm, I'm going to choose sure a tequila cocktail will. and then say I couldn't find any tequila. So I brought uh, gin. My lord. Yeah. Oh, God, you would. You would do that to me. But I won't. But I might. But I won't. But I won't. Yeah, let's not make promises we can't keep. Submitted by N. Sharping to the subreddit Science. Two separate teams of researchers transmit information across a city via quantum teleportation. What? So I admit that I wanted to talk about this partially because it used the phrase quantum teleportation, and then I actually read the article, and it turns out it's boring. <laughs> Fucking science is boring. But I'm going to try we're to actors. spice it up for you. Please do. Uh, researchers uh, working in Calgary, Canada and Hefei, China, hmm. used existing fiber optic networks to transmit small units of information across cities via quantum entanglement, which uh, co- apparently, according to Albert Einstein, should not have been possible. It's totally possible. And a bunch of people have been able to do it in labs before. This is the first time they were able to do it in real life. It's important because... And this will likely be a means of encrypting information in the future. Um, it's it's all about how photons communicate with it. I'm going to try and explain to you what this experiment is and see if you don't just, like, pass out into your wine. Here we go. You already lost me. It, it's a so... Confusing. I find this. So, I find the article confusing, which means the science is so far beyond me. I can't even. I get. I ju- you mean it's beyond our twelfth grade science that we have? Okay. So both of these experiments encode a message into a photon and send it to a way station of sorts. There, the message is transferred to a different photon, which is entangled with a. 
photon held by the receiver. This destroys the information held in the first photon, but transmits the information via entanglement to the receiver. When the way station measures the photon, it creates a key, which is like a decoder ring, that can decrypt the entangled photon's information. The key is then sent over an internet connection, where it is combined with the information contained within the entangled photon to reveal the message. See? Clear as mud. Um, what? What? That question. was clearly English, and I don't understand it. What's a photon? I, I, could, I couldn't even, I can't even answer that for you, honestly. Uh, um, I understood literally tiny? none of that, except and decoder ring. Travels through the I liked the, the idea of a decoder ring. Yeah. Uh, beyond that, I was lost. It's, again, it's been done in laboratories many times, and this is the first time it happened, like, in the real world, using fiber optic cables across a, an infrastructure that already exists in the world. Uh, so that's why it's so exciting. Um, the Calgary experiment was faster. It was able to transmit its information faster, but the Hefei experiment was more accurate. Neither one of them was 100% accurate, but the, the China experiment was more accurate, but took way, way longer to get the information where they were trying to get it to go. Okay, uh, so it, what is the point of this? Like, what? Well, what is the application here? It's going to be used to uh, help encrypt information. Okay. Because the, the thing that is, trans uh, from what I understand, when you transmit the information, the thing that is transmitting it disappears, so the information continues to exist. Okay. But in the act of transmitting it, it gets encoded in such a way that there is a, a separate thing that needs to be received in order to d decode it. Okay. So the thought is that if some third party were to get the information, they will not have the decoder Coder ring. ring. So they can't so they access won't be able the to information. Access. Yes. Okay. And that's why it's important. Got it. Um, my question is... Yes. It says teleportation. Yes. So... There is a, a statement here. Uh, this isn't teleportation in the Star Trek sense. Damn it! Because that was my question. Like, the, how close are we to teleporting people from spaceships The photons to aren't disappearing from one place and appearing in another, which is what I thought teleportation would be. Exactly. Uh, instead, it's the information that's being teleported through quantum entanglement. I'm so and less interested. Yeah, it's like, oh, this headline was so great. And in the actual article itself, I was just like, this is garbage. I just <laughs> Stupid science. Uh, hooray science. Click spade. I'm happy for you. Well I done. still need my notes. I'm going to pick those up. <laughs> Submitted by um, PM me your tits, girl. Oh. I almost didn't choose this because of that oh. username. Oh. To the subreddit oh, gifts. No. Yeah, it's a terrible name. No. But I like I like the gif. This is entitled... Good gif. Get a new name. Ingenious door lock. Check this out. Check okay. this out. Ingenious door lock. Look at that door lock. Mm -hmm. We're going to lock this door. Like a normal person. Super, super secure. Yeah. Not secure at all. Oh. <laughs> 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 Who installed that? Like, guys, I'm going to take care of this business. Don't worry about it. I'm going to make this super secure. Locking it down. Making it happen. No, you dumb dumb. <laughs> that doesn't work at all. Not even a little does that work. I feel like I would totally do something like that. <laughs> <laughs> what you need there is one of those like hook and eye locks. Yes, because that is for a forward back yes. door, not a slidey not door. Not a slidey door. No. No, 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 no. That, no. <laughs> that is so like, oh, I got this. Mm -hmm. I got this. No. Nope. No, you don't. Also, I'm a little curious as to where in the house this door is, because yeah. it feels to me like an inside, an interior door. Yeah, it does look like an interior door. It could, I mean, maybe the person who is locking it is on the exterior, but also there's no reason to have a lock on the exterior of a thing. True. Yeah. But if you are, but you'll see when it when it slides open, you can see another wall and like an outlet. So this must be yeah. an interior door, right? Well, it feels like maybe a bathroom at a restaurant or oh, that would make sense. Yeah, I or like at a doctor's office or something, just based on like the tile and the nondescript colors mm -hmm. that the walls are painted. Yep, and the industrial looking door. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you poor idiot! Oh. Wah, wah. You poor sweet idiot! I want to know. Uh... <laughs> I want to know if this is the first person to use the door after the lock was put in. Because then, like, there's a tiny, there's a tiny hole on the side of that door frame that was like clearly just right, the, just the yep. right height for this. Yeah. So like thought went into this. Yes. It was just completely the wrong thought. It's no good. 
It's not good. It's not good. I feel, I kind of want it to be like somebody's wife who like comes up and is like, <laughs> "This is not locked. We'll discuss this in the divorce proceedings." <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so sad if this is like the straw that broke the camel's back. The camel's back. Like, I thought maybe like, we could work it out. Turns out we can't. Dear Slide God, shut. Matthew. <laughs> For the love of God. That's why what I cut off half your finger, you? and now I'm going to cut off the rest of your head, because I can get to you. Dum dum. Submitted by Kate Loves Anime to the subreddit Books. And it is entitled 39 Weird Books That Really Exist. Yeah, just a little bit of setup for you, if I may. The, apparently, there's a a prize called the Diagram Prize for the oddest book title. Wait, this is a thing that exists. This is a thing that exists, and uh, we're gonna go through some of the um, I don't know. I don't know if these are really like contenders or if the article is just odd book titles. Wait, and we're sure this is true. Like, yes. we're sure this is one hundred percent actually real and not someone. I am certain being this funny. is a thing. I am certain this is a thing. Right. So we're going to just run through these quickly, and if there's any that you want to talk about, <laughs> we're happy to, I'm happy to talk about them. I just love that cat's face. This one's called Fashion Cats. Obviously. It is, this is a 160-page coffee table book. No. Compiling the masterpieces of Takako Iwasa, who is Jap- Japan's number one cat tailor. That is not a real job. That is a real job, and he made a book about it. Uh, a 168-page book. These are not just costumes. These are cat couture, featuring regal satin capes, striped newsboy no. caps, and proper plaid ties. No. Yep. Anybody can <laughs> cool, but awesome takes practice. <laughs> Bomb-proof your horse. Mm-hmm. Uh, full title, bomb, uh, better than... Yes, new, better than bomb-proof, new ways to make your horse a solid citizen and keep you safe on the ground, in the arena, and on the trail. Who cares about elderly people? No one. Does God ever speak <laughs> through cats? <laughs> How to disappear completely and never be found? Holy shit! Ooh, my favorite, this one I think might be my favorite. Sunbeams may be extracted from cucumbers, but the process is tedious. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, uh, maybe this tops it. How green were the Nazis? <laughs> Nature, environment, and nation in the Third Reich. How to survive a garden gnome attack. <laughs> Defend yourself when the lawn warriors strike, and they will. It's gotta be a joke, right, though? It's gotta I be mean, tongue-in-cheek. In the same way that, like, the survival guides for the zombie apocalypse or right, the alien invasion. Right, but they're very, like, tongue-in-cheek. Yeah. But still, that title. But still. Knitting with dog hair? No, what the actual fuck? Better a sweater from a dog you know and love than from a sheep you'll never meet. No. I'm not sure I agree with that. That's not true. Nope. That's not a thing. You can't hear them, but the studio audience is reacting. <laughs> How to teach physics to your dog. <laughs> My dog doesn't need to know. My dog does not care. I don't care about physics. A dog certainly doesn't care. Nope. Manifold Destiny, the one, the only guide to cooking on your car engine. Actually, that could be useful. It could be. That's the, I would say that's the least weird out of all of them. Royal Nips. <laughs> Dating for under a dollar, 301 ideas. Oh, my favorite is the pictures. Right? The best fences. <laughs> As opposed to the mediocre oh, fences. Oh, look at this. How to land a top paying pierogi maker's job. <laughs> I have wasted my life. I should have been making pierogies this whole time. Teach your wife to be a widow. That seems morbid. What? Yep. Not, we don't know what it's about. Treat your own neck. To what? <laughs> to a night out. Yourself. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Um, but just your neck. Bodybuilders and tutus. I want to see that show. Uh, whose bottom is this? <laughs> Why is that? Why? It's a lift the flat book. Oh. Oh. Why? This Are one we just I, identifying tails? I think so. I think it's supposed to be like, well, that's an elephant. Like, how? But what? a lot of tails look alike. Don't they? Yeah. All right. Now I'm curious. But we'll never know. No. The lull before dorking. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? We're just going to power through these next yep. ones. The new radiation recipe book. Uh. Liberace, your personal fashion yes. consultant. Goblin-proofing one's chicken coop. As you do. 
How to avoid huge <laughs> ships. Don't go near them. Highlights in the history of concrete. The joy of chickens. Oral sadism and the vegetarian personality. This one I might have to read. As a vegetarian, I need to know what they're talking about. Living with crazy buttocks. <laughs> the do-it-yourself lobotomy. Open your mind to greater creative no, thinking. No, don't. Crocheting adventures with hyperbolic planes. The Book of Marmalade. There needs to be a whole book about it. Its antecedents, its history, and its role in the world today. <laughs> Very important. The Madam as Entrepreneur. <laughs> Career Management. Management and Health Constitution. <laughs> Finally, the book I've been looking for. <laughs> How different my life could have been had I found this earlier. The girls will be so happy oh, that my. I finally found a book about managing them. Managing a dental practice. <laughs> the Genghis <laughs> Conway. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think... I'm going to assume that Genghis Khan was not super into the dental hygiene. I'm going to guess no. That's an assumption on my part. I'm going to say probably most people didn't have teeth round about yeah, that. Yeah, for a reason. Oh my god. That's We're almost amazing. done. We're almost there. Oh, but The this Stray is Shopping Carts of Eastern North America, <laughs> A Guide to Field Identification. That is so specific, and why is that a book? Oh, hey. A must-have for anyone oh. with a passion for shopping carts and the love of the great outdoors. Natural bust enlargement with total power. How to increase the other 90% of your mind to increase the size of your breasts. Ha! Who? What? Ha! That's not a thing. Yeah. It's not... That's if all I had to do was think about having larger breasts... How much larger my breasts would be? <laughs> A, you don't want it. Trust me. <laughs> B, no! <laughs> That's, That's not, not how, how that works! works. <laughs> not how that works! This is, no. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, so they, and I, well, they include and I also line. enjoy this, this idea that the whole reason to unlock the other 90% of your mind is simply to increase your boob size. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why couldn't it be Thanks, patriarchy. anything else? Uh, one noteworthy line reads, You look up at the sky and you see a white cloud formation in the shape of your breasts, which reminds you of how perfect your breasts can be. <laughs> I can pretty much say with absolute certainty I have never looked at a cloud never and once. thought, if only my breasts could look like that. Never once in my life. No, that's not a thing. No. It's not a thing. It's not a thing. This is uh, written by a man. A thing. Written by oh, a dude. Yeah. Obviously. Super. It was an MD. That is yes, a, an actual doctor. Disturbing. He actually has a degree. Cooking with poo. What? This poor woman's last name is Poo. Oh, the that's... chef's name is Con Poo. That's really unfortunate. It's not a good title. Not a good no, title. No, no. I mean, that's your last name, okay? But I would, I would title it something else. Title it something else. Yeah. Yeah. People who don't know they're dead, <laughs> how they attach themselves to unsuspecting bystanders, <laughs> and what to, what to do about it. Yep. It's full oh of practical information for both the living and the deceased. So, but how do the deceased You know what read depresses it? me? That even once I'm deceased, I'm going to need a self-help book. <laughs> like, you're still not good enough. And you never will be. I'm sorry. Here is what you need to do to fix yourself. Yeah. So, like, uh, when you're reading the book, are you, like, leaving a page open, like, hey, guys, check read it out. this. I Let me of, know when you're done. You know what? I'm, uh, I'm realizing this just now. I think of death as, like, retirement. Like, I've earned the right to do whatever Oh, hell now. yeah. So. I'm going to haunt the shit out of some people. I'm, I'm going to say fuck this book. Yep. That's what fuck I have to say book. about that. Fuck you. We're going to do what we want when we are ghosts. Right? Mm. And then this next one is the winner from the year 2015. Ooh. Strangers have the best candy. <laughs> oh, my God. Strangers have the best candy. Uh, this one, fun fact, not a children's book. It is, in fact, a travelogue that documents entering conversations that the author had with strangers over the years. Uh, but the title is pretty terrifying. Horrifying. Also, as an adult, I'm still going to say, don't take candy from strangers. <laughs> Every now and then, if I'm, like, standing in a long line, and someone's like, do you want a piece of gum? Like, no. I don't know you. No. I do not want your gum. No. If you're saying I have bad breath, that's fine. I don't want your gum. I have my no. own. No. No. Yeah. Never take candy from strangers. Don't do it. Good for children. Don't do it. Good for adult women. Don't do it. Why is it good for adults? Period. 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 Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No matter how tempting that candy is. It's not for you. 
You're an adult. For you. Get your own candy. Amen. 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 So now we're going to look at, oh, the winner from 2014 is a doozy. I would like to share it with you for May. How to Poo on a Date, The Lover's Guide to Toilet Etiquette. Why is this a book? This is clearly what I've been doing, what I did wrong for 36 years, because <laughs> I was pooing wrong on dates. Yep. And I was not finding love. Clearly, I managed to learn <laughs> to poo well on a date. It's all worked out. It's all worked but out. But we were late bloomers, I guess. <laughs> we were well into our 30s I before guess. we were learned to, to poo, poo on, on a date. date. Now, this is the most embarrassing part of having the studio <laughs> audience here. It doesn't weird me out when I know they're going to watch it later, but it weirds me out that they're watching it now. They're, in real they're time. actually staring at you. Hey, friends. Hey, friends. So glad you're here. Your parents. Oh, they're both like, we have to leave. Yeah. Like, remember how they're married and have been married for a long time? They figured out how to poo on a date. Mm-hmm. I said it. Yo. Oh, why did you say it? Because. Those are your parents. I've had some wine. Have some respect. I know how I made it into this world. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Yeah, the... They've known me for a long time. That's true. They've known right. me for a long time I would, I would than anyone else in this from room. your birth, in fact. Yes, exactly. Submitted by Spoonamo mm-hmm. to the subreddit Funny, we had to make a B-movie poster with Photoshop in class today. What? Rocktopus! We have to fight for our right to party. My favorite part is the cast list on here. Uh, Chris Pratt, <laughs> Tina Fey, Barack Obama, and Betty White coming in 2017. Number I would one. watch the shit out of that movie. Number one. Barack Obama would be top billed in this film. Uh, yeah. But I, I feel like he would do it. Like, I feel like after he leaves the Oval Office, he'll be like, no fucks given. And he would actually show up in Rocktopus as a cameo. He I mean, cameo. Not, a, not a main main character. He's busy. He has shit to do. Well, but I feel like he would cameo. I still don't think he would be billed like this. No. That's, that's what I have a problem with. And Barack Obama... He, yeah, he would have his own line, and he'd be the and yeah. featured spot. Yes. I feel like he wouldn't even be built, because he would be like the surprise cameo that oh. makes you go, shit! How do you not to bill the president of the United States of America? Because if you're like trying to keep a good cameo on the down low, yep. you don't bill See, them. this suggests it's not a cameo, though. That's true. That is true. It does suggest. It suggests he is a main player. Like, in the Rocktopus. Like, Betty White. This is, I'm imagining this. I know it says coming in 2017, but I feel like it would actually be, like, more like 2037 or something. Like, 20 years from now, Ooh. when Barack Obama has already done all this diplomatic work and been and like, like, you know what? The world is saved. This. I can yeah. be a movie star now. Awesome. And that <gasps> Betty White is, of that course, still amazing. alive. Well, uh, cryogenics. Yep. So we've frozen her mm-hmm. until we find a way to so keep her So this forever. would be, like, reverse Ronald Reagan. Ooh. Love it. Yes. Love a reverse Ronald Reagan. Mm-hmm. Nice. I want to see this movie. This is coming to sci-fi in the fall. It's not the far off, actually. The winter? Whenever that would be. Sometime in 2017. I'm sure we could write it in a week, film it in a month, and put it yeah. up in, like, February. We should find this person and make it happen. We should. <laughs> Submitted by Time for Pool Party to subreddit. Oh, oh. I haven't seen it in a long time. I know. Uh, the title is, This Dog Has Life Figured Out. <laughs> is it? Is just lying just, just just lie in the there. Just yeah. the foods. I have to say, this really spoke to me, because I feel like this is me with a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> just lying on the couch. Just pizza. Kind of, not even holding the glass of water, it's just propped up between a pillow and the end of the couch, going... Oh. On a straw. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm actually not exaggerating. Like, I've, I've done that. Wow. I've legit done that. We're in our 30s. Hangovers are brutal. I agree. Sometimes they happen accidentally. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Been there. Yeah. Might happen tonight. If we're lucky. Finish Cheers. my one. But we're done with the episode, so I'm gonna. Mm. Thanks, backup wine. Mmm. Gotta love the backup wine. Just a little bit. Stop it off. So mm. I, I profoundly feel this dog. Yeah. This is me. With a hangover. Yeah. Also, on a lazy Sunday, when I just really can't deal with getting up. Yeah. Yeah. I hear that. Like, I could see myself, like, pouring the Cocoa Pebbles, like, on the couch, mm-hmm. and just sitting there going, Yep. I feel you, dog. I feel you. For reals. 
submitted by Turtle456 to subreddit Not the Onion. Oh no. Yep. Oh no. My okay. favorite. Yeah. Malaysian man jailed for living in executive airport lounges with fake boarding passes. What? Yep. What, what, what? So apparently there's this Malaysian man. <laughs> what? Who uh, missed his initial flight. Like, he was actually there the first time to catch a flight. It was a real thing. And he missed his flight, and he kind of ended up in this executive lounge, and clearly was like, this is the life. And so continued for three weeks. It took them three weeks to figure this out. Just continued living in the same airport in various lounges by, on his computer, getting a picture of various boarding passes and, you know, replacing his name, making up a flight number, making up a flight destination. (gasps) And then sleeping in the comfy chairs and eating the dinners and breakfasts that apparently are served in executive lounges, I've which never I been did in not executive know lounge. because I fly coach. I'm poor. Apparently is a thing. What? Yeah. And so finally, after three weeks and 31 fake boarding passes, people started to catch on. And I be think, a little like... Wait, so mm, he's in the same airport. He's in the same fucking airport. He literally did not leave this airport. For three weeks. And you gotta figure, there cannot be that many airlines. Yeah. In any given airport. Like, certain employees must have been like, that guy looks real familiar. Right. Which they did, eventually. Like, that's how he got caught. Yeah. Is the employees were like, um... This is a little suspicious. But it took them three weeks! Well, I mean, as long as he was using different airlines, I could see different employees seeing him, and if they saw him sure, once sure. a week... Being like, number one, maybe he just looks similar to a guy that I think I thought I knew. Number two, maybe he flew back and then is now flying out somewhere else. Like, Okay, but I'm going to pause it. Were there seven different lounges where he could only see people once a week? I guess it depends on how many employees work at the lounge. I guess that's true. That's true. It's hard to say. And on one hand, I'm like... So it was lounge what employees, the fuck? not... Airline employees. Correct. Lounge employees who kept seeing him and got suspicious. This is what bugs me, though, is that he had fake boarding passes Mm -hmm. and was able to continually get through security. (laughs) Yes. Well, no, I don't think it's him continually getting through security. It's him just going... It's him. He went through security once with a legit boarding pass and then just stayed. Because these lounges are inside. They're once you've already gone through security and then... So he never had to go back through security? No. No, no. These are just random employees who are just like, yes. that looks vaguely like a boarding pass onward. Yes, exactly. I see. Yeah. I see. Yes. Because I have, like, I've never been in one of these lounges, but I have, like, seen them in airports, and they are once I've walked security. past them and been told to move along. Exactly. Yeah. Because, like, oh, plebeian, keep keep on walking, you, you and your cheapo here. coach ticket. Yeah. I smell you. <laughs> keep going. Huh. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've been that person. It's okay. I admit it. Yeah. Oh, Oh, I guess it says nine different lounges. Wow. That's so many lounges. Yeah. Yeah. But so 31 fake boarding passes. So we had to have lounge hopped 31 different times. Goodness. Being like, oh, well, they don't have the creme brulee that uh, Lufthansa has. So I'm going to head back on over there. And how, he kept this up for three weeks. Three weeks, yes. So this, my question is, there are showers in executive lounges? Are there yes. like spas and stuff? It does say that there are showers, that he was, yeah, uh, feasting on luxurious breakfasts and dinners, sleeping in comfortable seats, enjoying movies, and using the showers. There are meals provided? I don't... Apparently. Uh, this sounds like a wonderland. It does. It does. How do I make this happen? How do I get to go into even one executive lounge? I don't know. I have yet to figure it out. I would like to. Apparently, it's not as hard as you would think. <laughs> All I need is a fake boarding fake pass. Fake boarding pass? Uh, uh, ooh, I feel like we're going to get shut down just for saying that sentence. Oh, uh, we probably will. Friends at home, please tell us how to get into an executive lounge. For reals. What kind of boarding pass do we need to have in order to do this? Because I don't, I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand. I don't. Is that like having the, like, super credit card? I would imagine, like, maybe business class. Definitely, like, first class. First class, you know, they're, like, well, staying in the lounge and being, like, with fancy. That a, yeah. Yeah, never done that either. No, mm. that's not fair. I got first class once because my one plane was late, and so the other plane Ooh. left without me. 
And so I was like, it's not my fault that I missed that flight because first plane was late. Connecting flight didn't happen. Nice. Like, well, then we're going to bump you up to first class <gasps> for the 30-minute flight across the oh, state. Oh, Which no. was garbage. Like, that was the one where I have no oh. problem being in coach. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sitting there in this nice chair, and then the second we take off, I'm just like, I'd like to have it. And then we were yeah, on our down. descent. And yeah. I was like, I guess I will not. That, that is not even fair. That's a wasted opportunity. Right. Which I think is why they gave it to me. <laughs> They're like, oh, she can't do any damage. I've literally never flown first class, but I've always said, because I want to go to Australia one day. I want to go to Australia one day. Let's go to Australia. Oh my God. We're going to do a live show from Australia. Yes. But also we need to be able to afford first class because there's no way in fucking hell I'm doing coach yeah. on a 24 hour flight. It's too far. Yeah. All right. Uh, so if anyone wants to sponsor our trip to Australia. <gasps> we will legit do shows from Australia. Yeah. Let us know. Yeah, I would like to hug a kangaroo. What? (laughs) I want to hug a kangaroo. I feel like that's not a good idea. (laughs) Why? That's like hugging a dolphin or a whale. I would love to hug a dolphin. No, you do not touch wild animals. There are things where you can hug dolphins. I don't don't think you should do that. You can swim with dolphins. I mean, that's an option, but I don't think you should. And you can hug them. You can do it. You can do it. it. All right, we gotta wrap it up. We gotta wrap this up. This is taking a weird turn. (laughs) Super weird. And it's time to shut it down. Yep. Yep. So I wanna thank all of you for sticking around through whatever. Our usual shenanigans. Thanks for being here tonight. Yep. Uh, I hope you find us on the uh, Facebook. Uh-huh. And the Twitter yep. and the Instagram. There's stuff that I. There are pictures that I have that I'm going to put on the Instagram. I promise I'm going to do it. Did my. Uh... Well, we can talk okay. about. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's going to be there. Don't worry about it. So go find us so on Instagram. So there are fun surprises coming on the Instagram. Yes. And then please, by all means, subscribe to this channel so Boop. you'll be knowing when more. Yep. Man, I had way more wine than I expected. Yeah, you, guys. you got like drunk real suddenly. True. That came out of nowhere. Seriously. Cheers. Cheers. Delicious. Please subscribe to the channel. Please like all the stuff. Thank you for being here. Always. Studio audience, thank you thank for you being here. Thank you for being here. here. Clifton, thank you for being here. Housecat, thank you for being here. No. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Bye.